so this unit uh, mostly concerned with the storage that is not inside a computer but uh, installed on a network uh, somewhere a network storage is very very common nowadays even inside your home you can set up a, a network or cloud storage uh, apart from your computer that is available uh, to you uh, to all the devices all the computers that you use in your house all the smart TVs that you use in your house and all the mobile devices smart uh, devices that you have so uh, it is uh, uh, very easy nowadays to make a uh, network storage uh, based on network uh, so what a network storage is uh, it is not stored inside your computer it has a complete different device that resides uh, on your network that is connected on your network so the connectivity is done through a ethernet port rather than a PETA or SATA or USB okay so we have two different types of uh, standards for network storage first is a uh, network attached storage or NAS uh, that is very high performance storage uh, so it is suitable for very large type of organizations or uh, design uh, you will see that NAS is now also available for small home and business uh, the image that you see here is a, a NAS device now as you see that computer is a different part and this thing has a completely different architecture it is a complete standard own device that will be connected to your network although you can use your computer to configure uh, that storage in order to store something in order to write something on in order to assign some users that who will be able to write who will be able to read that information over the network then we have storage area network now storage area network is a uh, cluster of different thousands of hard drives attached together and they can be accessed uh, through a network protocol then we have crowd storage crowd storage is uh, officially um, is uh, normally can be formed using the nas or sam but most uh, um, important thing that it is available over the internet so you will can have access to your data while you are on the move for example uh, google drive or spy drive or dropbox these are all all the examples of cloud storage that you have so each user that uh, is registered to that site has a, a limited amount of storage available to this so uh, that user can be accessed uh, worldwide 